Ladies and gentlemen, today is finally the day where I teach you guys how to get the PC version of the Japanese Vanguard Zero working normally without all the hoops. Well, th still with some hoops, but a lot less hoops than you would expect. So, the Japanese English, no, Jesus, the Japanese version of Vanguard Zero uh, runs through a program called Shift. And now Shift is pretty, it's kind of like a Japanese Steam, but mostly for like mobile games that can be played on PC because their main Steam is called DMM. But basically, it's a interesting program because it requires a VPN to make an account and then it requires you to change some of the software names because of how the PC works. So basically, uh, Shift can only be done on Windows actually, you cannot do this on Mac. Like I mainly do stuff on my Windows, but of course like I wish I could also play this on my Mac when I travel, but you know, unfortunately not yet and you know, maybe one day. And of course we don't, this is not usable for the English Banger Zero, this is only for the Japanese, but maybe one day, considering that, you know, Japanese Zero is on PC, I have a feeling they're gonna bring English uh, Zero to Steam eventually, maybe in the coming months, you know, maybe in the next one, two months, something like that would be pretty good. So now we're gonna go to my desktop and I'm gonna walk you guys through the entire process. So there's quite a few things that you need to consider, but first things first, like, the first thing that you need to get is a VPN. So as I said, you need a VPN to set up an account and this is honestly really easy. The VPN that I recommend is TunnelBear. TunnelBear actually works pretty easily and it's it doesn't, you know, it's not, again, this isn't sponsored, you know, not like one of those like NordVPN, you know, sponsorship videos, but I feel like TunnelBear is pretty easy. It has a limit of like 500 megabytes per month, but you don't actually need much to get it, you know, just to make an account for shift. So I'm going to walk you through the exact process of how this whole thing works. So first thing you do is you can download TunnelBear. So you go to your, you know, browser, you know, you can just Google TunnelBear and you'll find it, you know, secure VPN service, you download it, it's all good. So you get it running. So then you want to basically go and find your TunnelBear that you downloaded. So you open it up, we can close this for now. And then once it opens up, you basically, it says here, you know, how much you have remaining this month. So that's because I, you know, I, I use it a little bit. And of course, you know, you can turn it on and set wherever you want to. If you just turn it on, of course, this will deplete your megabytes. And then if you tweet about it, you get another gigabyte of free data. Amazing. But what you want to do is basically connect to Japan. So you hit that Japan button and then it's going to turn on. And look, it's going, 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 going. And there you go, you're in Japan. It's gonna give you a little pop-up on the bottom right of your screen saying, Raw, you're browsing from a secure tunnel in Japan. So you connect to it like this. So it's pretty easy. So then after you're connected, what you wanna do is go to the Shift website. So as you can see here, you basically just go to your browser. And the easiest way to do it is you're gonna see a link in the description, uh, which takes you to the Shift Games website for Vanguard Zero, I believe. And so basically you're gonna go to it and load it up and then you can try if you're on chrome you can translate it to english but it's not actually necessary and then you're gonna want to go to okay it hasn't been translated but here you can basically go to the creation of a new account and so here you go to the sign up and basically you can sign up with whatever you want whether it's with twitter here you can hit one of these to sign up with one of the social medias or you can sign up with your email address but you have to be connected to a vpn to do this otherwise it doesn't let you it just like doesn't do it so you just need a vpn for this account creation so a lot of people, majority of people actually use some sort of social media. I personally use Twitter. I know a lot of people use Google. You can use Facebook if, if you want to, but generally you just want to use one of these social medias to have it fastest, basically to make an account. So I can, for example, go through Facebook. And so basically then you just, it's going to ask you to confirm that you want to receive it. So I'm not going to do this because I already have like this email address connected with my Twitter account. So I don't want to do that but basically that's just how it works. So now that you've gotten that done and you've got your shift account done, you then wanna go back to shift here. Of course, you're gonna probably at the end of the you know whole setup process, you're gonna have uh, been prompted to um, download it. But here at the top right, it says home apuri downloado. So basically you wanna just hit the download button here at the very top and it's gonna pop up here. You're gonna have your download here so you can just put it in your downloads folder wherever you want you download that and then you set it up and it's going to be the same installation process as for any other windows program basically you just install it wherever you want and you just let it install and that's it and now the last thing you want to do is once you've downloaded shift so it's going to open up like this you might be probably going to be launched into this place and then you're going to have to hit your account button of course here you can see that i am logged in already but you're going to be able to log in from here and then once you've logged in then you can go back to your tunnel bear and just disconnect and so that's that for the actual this is 
all you need to do with a VPN. You can get rid of it after this, you don't need to touch it anymore, that is it. And now basically you're going to be able to get yourself Vanguard Zero. So here, you know, on the homepage, you can find Vanguard Zero right here. Normally it should be on the homepage because it's one of their most popular games. And then you can basically hit this middle button to download it. And now what's going to happen is that after you download it, it might give like it might give you an error, which is error 104. And that is the error that basically corresponds to the file that you're trying to launch not actually working. So actually, I could reinstall it, but it's a little bit of a hassle. But trust me, I've done this a few times. It does actually work. So if you get that error 104, what you want to basically do is close the shift app entirely. Also, I mean, for me, I need to close Vanguard Zero because that's going to be a problem if I have it running. And so you want to make sure it's completely off, you know, in your tray, like everything, make sure the shift is off. You know, you can check through Task Manager just to make sure that it's off. So I'm going to just quickly peep it out. That shift is off. So just to make sure, yes, it is actually off. And so then what you want to do is you want to hit the search button here and type in percent app data percent to go to your roaming folder here. So this will open up and then you're basically gonna have this big folder that you could just, you know, scroll down, you find shift, you go into the shift folder and then you go to the apps folder within the shift folder, 80343 and then, or 34 rather, and then here, this folder and your Vanguard Zero executable will be like gibberish. How they look is like blah, 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 data and then blah, 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 zero. What you need to do is in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comment, normally it should be in there. I will give you the names that you have to enter for the folder and for that app. So basically these need to read Vanguard Zero and Vanguard Zero underscore data because in order to launch the program, the reason why the program can't find the files is because our Western PCs basically don't come with the Japanese keyboard to put the name in already. And so basically what you need to do is literally just go, you know, right click on it, go to rename, and then just type, just copy paste the thing you see in the thing. So make sure that the app ends with the zero, so the zero, and the folder ends with zero underscore data. So make sure you don't mix those up because if you mix those up, they will not run, it will not launch. Make sure you do that correctly. So then you can just name those and then that's it. That is actually it. So then you can relaunch your shift and normally then you're gonna be able to, after it boots up. So now you boot up your shift, as I said, and just give it a moment. Sometimes it usually it launches pretty fast on startup, but of course sometimes it doesn't. And then you're gonna go to this third uh, selection. So here, just so you know what these mean, this is top, this is campaign. So for example, they often run these campaigns where you get some money back, you know, from spending or whatever else, or if you have like a, like the Rakuten D point thingy, you know, it's all kinds of stuff that for us people living in the West, we don't have. And then this is your library. So this is just like your, you know, just your library, literally. So here for me, just Vanguard Zero. And then here is my games. So you want to go to just my games, click on Vanguard Zero. And then this one reads Imasugu Play, which means play right now. And then you hit it and you're gonna be greeted by the wonderful Vanguard Zero screen. And that's gonna be it. So normally it should work. And this has been working for a lot of people and normally gonna run it like this. And there you go. So it works just like that perfectly fine. And then of course you wanna bring, if you already played Vanguard Zero Japanese on your phone, then you need to hit menu here and then the data continuation to bring over your data from your phone onto the PC. If not, then you can just start fresh on the Japanese account. And of course, starting in the Japanese account is pretty good simply because you get about 50 free packs to start. So it's a lot to be roll with. And also you can roll for stuff like Azel, you know, for Gold Paladin, that is basically all in one pack. You can build a whole new deck that's tier one uh, right out the gate. And so of course, this is at the time of recording, the beginning of May. And of course, I think every month, every couple months, like whenever a new mechanic comes out, I think there will be basically like a good new deck that you can build right out of the box so i think that's going to be quite nice for the game itself so getting into japanese zero is honestly really really easy and so this process like i was stuck for the longest time on the whole renaming thing i never looked at the roaming folder and then it was thanks to uh discord user pc droid that walked me through it and gave me this little tutorial so that's it. Normally this should work for you. If you're still having some issues, you can leave it in the comments. I might not be able to respond to everything, but I'll try to assist. If not, then I'll ask that some of the people that have got it working can also try to respond. But hopefully we can help each other out. You know, if you have it working, please maybe try to help the others out if they don't. But normally, unless you made some stupid mistake here and there, you know, which can happen, you know, we're all humans. 
um, it should be fine. It should normally be okay, and you'll have the game working and running on PC. And honestly, this is miles better than running it on Bluestacks. It doesn't eat up your CPU, you know, it doesn't eat into your memory. It's super, super smooth and overall just great. Just keep in mind that your paid gems from your mobile don't actually carry over, so that's the only thing you need to consider. But outside of that, it's pretty great. So yeah, you can have it working pretty smoothly, and it's honestly really great. So yeah, that should normally be it for this tutorial, unless I've missed something, but I'm pretty sure I have not. And yeah, normally if you manage to manage to get this running, then leave a comment as well if you did, because I'd like to know that this method works for everyone. So far from everyone I've asked, it does work pretty fine, and it worked for me as well. You don't have to change your locale to Japanese or anything like that. Just follow these steps that I've given you. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for today. So hopefully you guys can join us playing on the Japanese version of Vanguard Zero. There's a lot of exciting stuff, lots of interesting quality of life changes like deck tracker, as well as, of course, the rental system that exists and sparking and all those cool things so you can also try it out if you want to see what comes in the future and one last thing of course if of course you know the Japanese game uses future releases that are not out in English the menu you should be fine navigating by now because you've been playing the English version but for the card effects of course you might not know everything so there is another link in the description which takes you to the Vanguard Zero database which will then have every single effect that is currently out in Japanese as well as in the data mines in that website so even cards that aren't even out in the Japanese version yet will be on that website so you can check them out but on that note, that's basically it for me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.